Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to the 21st Java GUI tutorial. And in this one, we are going to learn how to make, or I'm going to teach you how to make a program that essentially you can move um, J sliders, which we've learned about last time, and change the color of a J panel according to the RGB values determined by the J sliders. So if that sounds confusing now, just wait and you will see. It's pretty cool actually, so it's probably one of the cooler ones we've done so far. So J slide uh anyway, yeah. We gotta make uh three sliders, three pan labels, excuse me, and one panel. So actually three panels. So J slider, um red slide no red slider, green slider and blue slider. J label, red label, yada yada yada, and yeah, and panel. Um, um, the, uh, this is my color panel, which is basically the panel that will change its background color according to the value of the sliders. Um, I need a sliders panel and a labels panel. These are, the panels are just for layout, so if you don't really know what they are, don't worry. They're just to f make the layout look a lot better. And then, all right. Now, all right. We need to make our red sliders. I mean, we need to construct our sliders now. So, let's equal the new J slider, and it's going to be horizontal. Because that's how we want the orientation. Zero minimum value, 255 maximum, and zero starting. And do that for all three of them. Whoops. Alright. This is going to be our green slider and our blue slider. Alright, now our labels. And inside of our label is going to say red equals zero. And you don't have to put a value uh, in, uh, a variable here because <coughs> that zero can be constant string because these are always zero when we start the program. So, but it'll change when we s adjust the slider. Don't worry. All right, now if you want, you can. Um, do for green and that's going to be oh duh that's a label <laughs> gosh green and blue blue alright perfect alright so now we're going to make or rather declare to Java that we're going in the future going to make an event class to handle um, our slider movement so I just do what I usually do is call it event you can name it whatever but I, it's probably easy if you just do what I na name it what I name it so you can follow along but and then it's going to equal to a new event and yeah well it's giving us errors, but that's okay. Red. Oh, god, I'm dumb. You need a equal sign here. Alright, red, slider, and then you gotta add a change listener, give it to E, and do it for the green and blue sliders too. There we go. All right, now we're gonna do start working with our panels and our layout and adding everything so it looks nice onto the screen. This part's pretty simple, but I don't know. Depends if you know what a grid layout is or not. But <sighs> all right. So first thing we're doing going to do is make a color panel. So well, we already made it, but we're just gonna say what it is. So it's gonna be a new J panel. That's all it is for now. And then 
when we spawn it, or it spawns on the screen, it wants, whoop, let's scroll this up for you. Um, the background, oh my, I'm doing bad today. Um, background, and then the color is going to be black. Because the default RGB values are going to be zero, and when you have RGB values of zero, you get black color. Alright. Now, go down a couple, and we're going to create a container. I'm going to call it pain. I don't know, I just like to call it pain. And this container is basically going to hold all of our panels in place in a nice grid layout so it looks nice and it's not all jumbled up, big mess. So this, I think this is the first time I've used a container with you guys, but anyways. Type in container and I usually call mine like pain, P-N-E. It's like a pane of glass or something. It can like hold it in place. I don't know. It just sounds cool to me, I guess. And that is going to be equal to this. And the this thing is referring to the J frame up here. So this. And um, get content pane. There we go. So now we have a pane that is a container. And it's the J frame get content pane. Got it? Alright. So now. We need to set the panes layout, which I guess is like the mothership, if you could call it that, of that holds our um, panels, our color panel, sliders, and labels. Alright, so we need to set the layout. So, pane, and then set layout, new grid layout, and ugh. I think I'm going to do one, three, 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 three. Alright. So one row, three columns, and spacing of three, three. Just give it a little bit of padding between. Alright. Now we need to create our or not create, but construct our sliders and our labels panel. So sliders is equal to new J panel. And same thing with labels. Alright. <clears throat> now, add sliders, add labels, and add color panels to our mothership, if you would, pane, which holds it all in place in this nice, beautiful grid layout 1 3. Alright. So, and then inside of these. Um, panels will do more grid layouts, so it's really gonna look cool. It's gonna look really nice. So, yeah. Pane. Uh, add sliders. So, this is gonna be the furthest left. We're gonna have our three J sliders in the left hand um, column, and then we're gonna have our labels and then the last thing we want on the right hand side is our color panel alright so you'll see it's gonna look really nice when we get it complete um... All right, I think I'll do one more thing in the next video because we're running a little low on time yeah this is gonna be probably a two or three part series depending on how long it takes But alright so now we need to work with our sliders class I mean not class oh my our sliders panel so sliders and then set the layout of the sliders and that's going to be also a grid layout and that's going to be a three one three three actually do this two two alright so yeah uh, I'm going to go to the next video now because I'm running a little low on time so uh, it's going to be number 22, I believe, or just part 2 of this um, color chooser series. Thanks for watching.